We're also very concerned about tourists. Uh, tourists are in the country, maybe they came before demonetization and they changed money and they're having a hard time getting their money back into their currency or they're just leaving back to their country and they can't get their money back in their currencies. We also have a lot of medical uh, tourism patients who have come, have changed a large amount of money to pay for doctors, the medicine and the long stay in India and now they just cannot confront this issue. Embassies are helping them somehow. And, but we also have the issues of countries that do not have in access to international credit cards like Iran, like Cuba, like Sudan, where because of uh, certain bank uh, restrictions, they don't have access to international credit cards. So what can Iranian tourists who come in large number to visit our temples and to visit our city uh, can do uh, when they're here? Uh, they cannot use foreign credit cards. They have to have cash. They're limited on the amount of cash they can change to rupees. And then they have problems changing it back to their currencies. So, so these are concerns that we as ambassadors have to look at because we, we, our responsibility is not only towards the trade and, and the political side, but also to assist our nationals that are visiting India and to assist Indian nationals visiting our countries. And just the fact that sometimes they cannot pay for a visa because they don't have enough money to pay for the visa, it's concern for us and the, and the strengthening of the bilateral relations. So as the Dean of the Diplomatic Court, I, I am trying to get uh, together all the uh, problems and the issues concerning the community, trying to give it to the ministry. I know the ministry's responsibility, the responsibility is, is just to, to try to be the bridge with the finance ministry, but we're hoping that both the finance ministry and the, and the prime minister himself tries to make some efforts in realizing that these funds belong to embassies and we cannot be limited to, to getting this money out because, you know, in, it can, it, it, there could be countries where they can uh, reciprocate to, to Indian diplomats and I think this would not be good for Indian diplomats abroad if they cannot access their funds in their banks.